Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. The following table gives the quantity of petrol and its cost. Plot a graph to show the data. Here we notice that the number of liters of petrol that we buy will change the cost of the petrol. Hence, number of liters of petrol is an independent variable while cost of the petrol is a dependent variable as it will vary with the number of liters of petrol. Let us take up another example to explain independent variable and dependent variable. We all know that the amount of electricity bill depends on the quantity of electricity used. We say that the quantity of electricity is an independent variable while the amount of electricity bill is the dependent variable. Now let us proceed and draw the graph. Let us first prepare the graph. We take a graph paper draw x-axis and y-axis make a jagged line on y-axis as we are directly taking 100 and not plotting numbers between 0 to 100 mark the scale as 2 cm equal to 5 units on the x-axis and 1 cm is equal to 100 units on the y-axis also see that we have marked liters of petrol on the x-axis and cost of the petrol on y-axis. Now let us start plotting. We know that 10 liters of petrol will cost us 500 rupees as per our table. So, so we plot 10 and 500. Next entry in our table is 15 and 750. That means 750. We get 15 liters cost 750 rupees. Next entry is 20 liters cost 1000 rupees we have 20 liters 1000 and lastly we have to plot 25 and 1250 this is 1200 mark and halfway will give us 1250 hence we have 25 and 1250 on joining the points we get a line which is passing through a region this symbolizes that if we are not buying any petrol we don't have to pay any amount 0 liters of petrol will cost 0 rupees this graph will be very useful in estimating few more things for example if we need to find the amount we have to pay if we buy 5 liters of petrol we'll draw a perpendicular from here on the graph line and from here and find that coordinates of this point are 5 and 250 that would mean that 5 liters of petrol will cost us 250 rupees similarly we can find out the value for any number of liters of petrol 
Let us read the question on the slide. A bank gives 10% simple interest on deposits by senior citizens. Draw a graph to illustrate the relation between the sum deposited and the simple interest earned. Find from your graph the annual interest obtained for an investment of Rs. 250 and the investment one has to make to get an annual simple interest of Rs. 70. Let us try to construct a table between the principal amount or say the sum deposited and the interest earned simple interest for a year. We know that simple interest can be calculated by P into R into T by 100. We are given that R is 10% and we are taking time as 1. And now let us change the sum deposited and calculate the simple interest for each of them. Let us construct a table between the sum deposited and the simple interest earned for the year. Say if the sum deposited is 100 rupees, then the simple interest earned will be using the formula we will get 100 into 10 into 1 by 100 which gives us 10. Likewise, for some deposit to be 200, we will get 20 rupees as the simple interest. For 300, we will get rupees 30 on calculation. And on 500, we will earn rupees 50. Also, we notice that this is a table between independent variable that is the sum deposited and the dependent variable that is the interest earned since interest will totally depend on the sum that has been deposited. Now let us proceed to draw the graph between them. Let us plot the graph. For sum deposited 100, we have interest gain 10. For sum deposited 200 rupees, we have interest gain 20. For sum deposited 300 rupees, we have simple interest 30 rupees. And for sum deposited 500 rupees, we gain 50 rupees as simple interest. Now let us join the points. On joining the points, we get this linear graph and now it remains to find the values that are asked. That is the annual interest obtained for an investment of Rs. 250. To find this value from the graph, let us try to find investment 250. Corresponding to this investment, let us draw a perpendicular line and then from this point we will draw another perpendicular line and find that the coordinates of this point are 250 and 25. Hence we can say from the graph that if the sum deposited is 250 rupees, then the interest earned is 25 rupees. Now it only remains to find the investment one has to make to get an annual simple interest of rupees 70. We are given that somebody has got annual simple interest 
of rupees seventy. So we will draw a line perpendicular to our graph from the seventy mark, and from that point we will draw a perpendicular on the sum deposit mark, and find out how much investment will be required for that. On doing so, we see that the coordinates of the point are. Seven hundred and seventy. That means to earn interest of rupees seventy, one has to deposit a sum of rupees seven hundred. Hence, we have learned from this example how we can calculate other values from the graph.